Hey guys, what's up? Nate here from Protoculture and Shadow Chronicles back here again at Sonic Academy. Another how to use video this week for you guys. Uh, we're going to be taking a look at a really, really cool little plugin from Waves Factory. It's called Track Spacer and it's a fantastic tool for carving out um, space for elements in your track in a really, really simple manner. Let's jump in and check it out. Right, so we have a Waves Factory Track Spacer. Uh, it's a very simple plugin at first glance. What you have here is essentially a uh, dynamic EQ um, with a sidechain attached to it. Uh, now you can do this kind of dynamic EQ with other stuff um, like Neutron, for example, or even Pro-Q3. Um, however, there are a couple of features in this one that I really like and the simplicity of it is just super quick and easy to get up and running with. Let's just quickly take a look at the UI and then I'll show you how to set this up in your track and how it functions. Uh, very simple, uh, you've got the amount of the effect that's going to be applied, the ratio, uh, which is basically how much of the dynamic EQ it's going to pull out. Uh, you've got a low cut and a high cut filter, which is you'll see in a sec will limit the, um, the, the area in which it functions. A freeze control, uh, which will basically lock the frequency curve uh, and stop it from acting dynamically. It will basically become a static EQ then. And then you also have this little button here, which opens up some additional controls. Panning control, uh, uh, MS mode that you can switch to. Obviously, the panning control then functions from mid to side rather than left to right. Uh, this is particularly useful. I'm going to jump into that in just a sec. And then you have some attack and release controls for how quickly the dynamic EQ is applied and released uh, on your audio. The sidechain button will basically solo the input that's coming into this. And then we can just close that back down again and you'll have your visual representation of what's happening. So in this example that I'm going to show you, I've intentionally increased the volume of uh, these strings here and um, opened up the filters so that they covering quite a broad spectrum of the frequency band. Uh, I have a vocal playing down here as well. Let's just take a listen to what we've got. So you can hear those strings are, are very, very dominant there and they're kind of overtaking the vocal. So the way that you're going to use this is the uh, element that you want to carve out, uh, you're going to apply um, track spacer to that channel. So in this case, the strings that are playing, and that's this. So we have a bit of side channel on there just to duck it out of the kick, but we want to duck it from the vocals now as well. Um, so. In Cubase, this will vary from DAW to DAW, but in Cubase, we can enable the sidechain here. Uh, click the drop down button, and you'll see I have one here set up. Um, you just add sidechain input in Cubase, find the channel for the vocal, and set that as a sidechain. Uh, you can set that to pre or post fader should you need to. Uh, and that's pretty much it. So now we have our vocal. If we play them together, we'll just enable the vocal channel play them back and with this set at zero obviously nothing is happening but watch what happens as we dial up the amount of the effect so you can see uh, the ducking the strings out now um, according to when the vocal is playing. Now you could do this with uh, just any compressor as well or like I said a dynamic EQ with a side chain. However, this one is nice to fine tune it so that you get the minimal amount of cut from these strings. You can kind of still preserve them for the most part but only ducking the areas that are important to you. So I'm going to use the filters now to sort of reduce the low end um, uh, effect. Uh, we don't need too much of that for, uh, for the vocal to shine through. The sort of main areas that I really want to shine through are the sort of the mid-range stuff where most of the intelligibility is in the vocal. So around the 1K mark, but I'm going to kind of start there at about 700. The same goes for the top. I'll just roll that off a little bit. I'm more worried about these sort of mid-range areas. Soon, 
Let's just take a to listen to the difference now. And a second soon, I'm giving in for you. All my love, all my love. And a second soon, I'm giving in for you. All my love. And you can really hear how those strings are just making way for the mid range part of the vocals um, and dynamically as the vocals play. So we can play around with this a little bit more. Let's say, for instance, I want to get a slightly more extreme amount of uh, ducking occurring on the strings. We can do that, um, but you have to be careful with these large amounts as it can actually change the strings too much and you lose too much of the energy. So that filtering there now is, is really obvious, uh, obviously with a quick attack time. So having slightly longer attack and release time is going to give you a slightly more natural feel but what we can also do in this case is our vocals are essentially mono so what i love about track spacer is that we can flick this into mid side mode and if we apply this to the mid only even when we do quite extreme settings we're only pulling out the mids of the strings so we can leave the outsides uh, the sides of the strings intact and have that playing the full frequency spectrum but only in the middle where the vocals are occupying space, we can duck out um, those frequencies. So let's take a listen to that now. So you can see now with more extreme values on this amount dial, it's still sounding a lot more natural just because we're pulling out those mids only. Um, we could actually duck slightly more of these sides. And a second soon, I'm giving in for you, all my love, all my love. And that's, uh, that's working nicely for me right now. It might be a little bit extreme still, but just for the sake of this demo, I want to dial in these extreme settings. Um, lastly, if you're finding that that sort of phasing is occurring uh, because you have quite an extreme setting to make space for stuff, uh, what you can also do is actually stop this from acting dynamically uh, completely uh, with the freeze button. Um, so you set it up the same way that you do now, let it play back. And a second soon, I'm giving in for you, all my love, all my love. And a second soon, I'm giving in for and we can just have that frozen in place. So it's essentially now just an EQ, except in this case, it's uh, basically taken all the hard work out of finding those frequencies. Uh, it's precisely worked out exactly where the vocals are most prominent and made an EQ curve to counter that inside a track spacer. But it's now just not acting dynamically anymore. Um, so that is kind of useful if you want to kind of reduce the amount of movement that's happening there. Um, vice versa, you could also just put in a more extreme attack and release setting which means it'll be a lot more gentle when it ducks and let's take a listen in context again we'll take play it back as a whole track Cool. And that's it. It's super, super simple, but performs such an important part in um, mixing your tracks, especially when you have a lot of stuff going on and you need to make room for something like a vocal or a main lead or something like that. Uh, obviously, this can be used on a number of different examples, even to... Uh, uh, sidechain bass etc etc but I find like in this kind of situation uh, especially for vocals and things it really shines uh, to kind of make space for all those major elements in your track so yeah that is uh, Waves Factory track spacer great little plugin uh, go check this one out hope you guys enjoyed the video and found this informative I will see you guys soon right here at Sonic Academy cheers 
thanks everybody for watching commenting and indeed liking we really do appreciate all the support we get here on our sonic academy youtube channel so if you find this video super useful please we'd love you to hit the subscribe button we update the uh, youtube channel every week with new content and if you want to watch some more relevant content just click on the videos beside me